Hello to all of my Aries. Welcome back to my channel. Subscribe if you're new so you can keep up to date with your weekly readings because I do one every single week here. Um, but today, uh, at the end of every year, I like to do a whole zodiac series where I get into each zodiac sign. Whether you guys follow your sun, your moon, your rising, um, we're going to get into all of that, every single sign. So today, we're going to get, we're going to start off with Aries. So all my fiery Aries, I have not shuffled yet. So this is kind of like a live type of reading, maybe, right? Let's shuffle and see what comes up for you guys, Aries. Um, lots of things here. First of all, Aries, your color is red. And you're a very fiery, very masculine sign. And you love to get things done and you do not like to be trampled over, walked all over. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles here is telling me that a lot of you guys in 2023 are gonna be holding up some sort of recognition or pride, like something that makes you very proud. Whether this comes in materialistic format whether it comes through recognition or promotion through your work, um, it's something that like you guys are going to be holding it up like an award, a promotion, leveling up, um, or something you achieve or obtain in your life that you feel like for you is such a big thing, which could be even like buying a house or uh, buying a car, like something really, really big but also somewhat like materialistic. So I do see that for a lot of you guys. Growth in the money of, um, in the money, it, growth in the field of money is something that I see for you guys a lot. Also for you guys, Aries, I want you guys to wear more red colors next year. Red t-shirts, underwear, pants, um, crystals, jewelry, makeup, even dyeing your hair red maybe. Um, I feel like whoever does this, whoever like incorporates more red into their life, especially specifically if you are an Aries, it's going to be helping you a lot and pushing you forward into the direction that the Aries is supposed to go into, that you are supposed to go into. The next card that comes up here is the Knight of Swords. Knights! Okay, so... The Knights are telling me, in 2022, you guys really did your research and studied and worked really hard on something, or you really did plant your seeds towards something. And that was your, you know, in tarot, it's the page, the knight, the queen, and the king. So the page era was you in 2022. It was you studying, learning, growing. And then in 2023, I feel like you're going into that knight era where you get to put all of these things into practice. Pentacles is telling me that there's abundance coming, there's money coming, and there's like a high position that you're going to be holding in 2023. But the Knight of Swords is telling me you're also going to be cutting through a lot of drama. You're going to be cutting through a lot of bullshit. <laughs> and a lot of the things that maybe you were thinking that were hindering you from achieving and obtaining the things that you're going to be uh, coming across in 2023, those things, you're really cutting those out. And I'm very proud of you. I'm very happy that you're doing this because it's about time, Aries, that you did it. Aries is a very bold a fiery sign but they also do you know when they do get attached they get attached and so I do feel like this is something you're you're letting go of something that in the whole year of 2022 you struggled to let it go but in 2023 you really let it go and then you see what that brings you into your life because it's bringing you a lot of very good things like let me tell you okay the hanged one. 2023 for you, my Aries, 
my fiery little red sign. <laughs> um, you guys are really changing the way you perceive things. You're changing the way you go about your life. <clears throat> You're changing the way you look at things. Um, maybe even specific situations or circumstances that you're going through in your life. You're going to be looking at it differently. And if you're struggling through something right now, I feel like in 2023, this very struggle is going to turn around and bring you abundance. This very struggle that you're going through right now is going to turn around somehow and make you money like or something it's it's bringing you something where you're gonna hold your head up high and you're gonna hold your rewards and your promotions and your recognition you're gonna hold it up high and it's gonna allow you to cut away a lot of negativity so now that we're done with the tarot Let's get into some self-care that I want to see where your self-care is headed in 2023. So let's see. I do see a lot of you guys exercising more. I do see you building um, strength and more energy in your body getting it moving. I see some of you getting into yoga. I see some of you guys getting into meditation. I see some of you guys getting into like um, self-defense type of um, activities and hobbies and stuff like that. Whatever. There's so many ways of self-defense, right? Like guns, there's karate, there's um, swords, there's a bunch of things self-defense, right? Um, target shooting, like so many ways, right? I do see a lot of you guys getting into some sort of that kind of energy in 2023. You know, a lot of you guys might be getting your gun license. A lot of you guys might be getting into collecting swords or daggers. There's just, a, or a lot of you guys might be getting into hunting. Um, something like that I see for a lot of you guys. Um... And on the other side, I see a lot of you guys getting into meditation, really learning what meditation is for you. It's not, it's not the same for everybody. So I see you finding your meditation technique. <laughs> Make a meal. Can you guys see? Is it like too, too bright? Is that better? Okay. Make a meal. I see a lot of you guys getting into cooking, getting like, this This might sound weird, but I see a lot of you guys finding it therapeutic and you also find your passion and it's just very like pleasurable for you cutting things, specifically food or like um, meat. If you If you're a meat eater, I feel like you're going to find a passion in like filleting fish or how to cut chicken and cutting pork chops, like cutting meat. And like, there's like an energy for some of you just learning to cut things like vegetables and finding like the perfect knife. Like, I feel like it's going to be a big thing for a lot of you guys in 2023. That's just for some of you guys. Okay. Not like, not even some, I feel like a lot of you guys. Um, and also what you're cutting, what you are feeding yourself, what you are consuming. Um, also in 2023, there's a lot of energy of sharp, sharpness. So you're going to be very blunt with your words. And you're not going to take any BS from people. Um, and I also see a lot of you guys really honing in on cooking and it's a passion or just something that maybe calms you down and you're really going to get into it learning new recipes or even for some of you it's like you already know how to cook you're going to write a book about cooking you're going to make your own recipe book or maybe you're going to start a youtube channel about you know your recipes or how to cook specific things um, I know that I would, oh my God, you guys, if you know any Fijian 
recipe channel, please give it to me. I would love to know. Like, there is no Fijian recipe channel out there that I know about. And I'm Fijian and the recipes are, oh my gosh, I wish somebody would make it. If I had the time, I would make it. But yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah, what would that be for you when it comes to, there's something about knives and cooking and vegetables and cutting uh, that is going to be very prevalent in 2023 for you. Um, for a lot of you, I, might, I feel like you might find a new career in food. A lot of you might become chefs, might find a passion to going into like chef school or culinary school. Um, that's a huge energy right now. Also, I see uh, growing your own vegetables. A lot of you guys might be heading into that into 2023. Aries, you guys are very fiery and stubborn sometimes. <laughs> and say like the price of groceries is going up, price of vegetables is going up. You're not going to take no for an answer and you'll grow your own. So Aries, like keep that in mind. You guys are very self-sufficient energies. Um... And I feel like in 2023, you're going to find ways, even though you might not have to be so self-sufficient, but in 2023, I see you guys heading into being a little bit more self-sufficient and uh, growing your own things or like making your own things, like cutting. I see a lot of like, you know, cutting your own things, working through, uh, making your own things. Um, and finding recognition through it, and even possibly building a career through it. And then finding a lot more time for yourself in 2023, Aries. A lot more time for yourself. And with this time that you get with yourself, you get to see what you need to cut out, and you are going to be cutting out a lot of things. A lot of things. I feel like a lot of you, I also see that you're going to be changing the way that you dress in 2023. And it's very different. Um, and I feel like you're kind of going to ad adorn your body a little bit more than usual than you ever did um, in 2023. Dressing yourself up. Even if it means you are in loungewear, but it's just cute loungewear. <laughs> like, you're just really taking care of what you put on your body and what you put in your body. I see that for a lot of you guys. And now, the next card that we're going to get into is from this Ganesha deck. I have a few decks here that I wanted to get into. For you guys, Aries. And I have a selenite crystal. I might be even picking this up if every uh, every once in a while just to cleanse myself. I've been noticing uh, during readings I get like really, really exhausted. And I do have to do a few readings right now. So I don't want to get myself exhausted because I'm going to be doing every single Zodiac series. And that's something that's interesting that I mentioned in your reading, Aries, because... You guys are that type, like, you're like, I need to do this, but I also have to do that and that and that. So how can I prepare for doing all of that? The first card that comes up is concentration. <laughs> Isn't that we're just, what we're just talking about? So in 2023, for a lot of you guys, Aries, I see um, study. I see learning. I see you guys uh, picking up something artistic. Which is why I see like the, the culinary thing. I also see, um, you know, cutting. It might be you sculpting or cutting away pieces of your life where you can accumulate and achieve something more. So you're cutting away the old. I also see a very special companion. Somebody that um, helps you in your studies. So keep that in mind in 2023. I see your crown chakra open. And I see a lot of you guys uh, just being really hypnotized and taken away by some sort of research or some sort of study or a topic or something that just captivates you. And this could be anything. This could be from cooking to uh, law to criminal justice. Like, I see so many things. I see, for some of you, it could be going totally into yoga. 
For some of you, it's going totally into your career after you get this recognition that you get. You get more passion and you just want to move more forward with it. Um, I just see so, you're honing into something that just completely captivates you in 2023. And you're concentrating on that and you have somebody that helps you and pushes you and moves you forward. I see a lot of you guys in a cloak of money. Okay, cloak of abundance. A lot of you guys are going to be covered with money and you know even if there are there's always going to be ups and downs and ups and downs so I do see certain things you're going to be cutting out of your life that might be hard for you to cut out in 2023 but once you do you're going to find that the growth is just it just starts even again like even more but for some of you I also see like um when you do come across money and you come across being so honed in and focusing on something that completely captivates you, you're going to lose some people. And, you know, certain things in your life are just going to kind of become distant and you're just going to flow away from th those things. And that's okay because you're going somewhere new. And so just remember that that's okay if you fall away from a certain hobby or maybe a certain obligation that you kept forcing yourself to do. I feel like that's another thing I want to say. Um, you might see that in a different light and see that it's just taking away or draining too much of your energy. And you need to walk away from that so that you can concentrate on something bigger for yourself. The next card that comes up is Childlike Expression. This card, I feel like I had to take a deep breath of air <laughs> into my lungs. Um, both of these cards have the crown chakra radiating. So what I see here is a lot of you guys are connecting with the divine and really getting messages and downloads and answers to a lot of questions in the whole year of 2023. And you're going to be very tapped into the moon phases, so keep that in mind. Make sure that you keep watching all of my new moon and full moon videos because in those videos I teach you how to navigate these moon phases in your favor. But when you're specifically so attuned to the moon phases, like the, the way that I see it in your cards, then it's very important for you guys to work with the moon phases so that you can really pull and harness this energy to make it work in your favor. And there's a ton of ways, and in every video I show you or teach you or talk about it. And so I feel like this entire year of 2023, you guys are going to be very, very, very attuned with the moon phases. Every new moon and full moon, the energies are going to affect you a lot. But it's not a bad thing at all. It's actually a really good thing because you can really harness and work with this in your favor. Uh, another thing that I see is a lot of you guys are going to be indulging in a lot of food. I see that a lot in your reading, Aries. Um, indulging with food, whether this be, you know, letting yourself have whatever you want or traveling for food um, or a career in food or just really indulging in learning about new recipes or something like that. Just food is going to be a huge part of your life in 2023 Aries. Um, I also see a baby for some of you. I see, you know, you're changing up your diet a little bit because you might be getting pregnant and you're going to start seeing your life differently, of course, after you get pregnant for some of you Aries. Um, but those of you Aries that do get pregnant, I see your companion just at your feet and they are ready and willing to do anything and everything you need. So I do see that for some of you, Aries. Um, I also, what I see is a playful energy. 2022, I feel like might have been a little bit too serious, especially with you guys. Aries, you are fiery energy. Um, but I see in 2023, a little bit more playfulness, a little bit more just lightheartedness for you guys, which I'm very glad that you guys are getting that. I also see leadership and career, really promotion energy again with this card right here. Um, 
but you have to do it in a playful way. Don't be too serious. Don't take things so seriously. Do not take your life so seriously. I want you to play a little bit. Have a little bit of fun. I want you to... I also see a, a vacation. I see a vacation for you guys. We also have here the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Knight and then the Queen. Right after the Knight comes the Queen Pentacles. Look at them. They're both holding up abundance. So not in, not even in that masculine, fiery, Aries way that you're so used to. Hustle and work hard and go get her. But in 2023, I also see you're getting your money and your abundance in a different type of way. You're also getting it from your heart and you're getting it um, from love and you're getting it from uh, spiritual ways, not just materialistic ways of finding these things. You're also getting these in ways of finding peace in your heart, closure and moving forward and letting go of resentments and things like that. And that's a lot of your roads are going to be opening in 2023 because you're letting all of this go. Becoming a little less serious. Like like we said, cutting things out. Cutting things out with the knife. Let's pull a few more cards here. You're coming out of a period of isolation. This card came upside down. We're going to take it upside down. The Four of Swords is talking about a lot of you guys have become really bored with your life. That was my cat. He just sneezed. Bless you, my love. <laughs> um, a lot of you guys are coming out of this period of isolating yourself, being very, very cold. Um, you're cutting yourself away. Look at all these swords. Cutting yourself away from that ice period. A lot of you guys have been bored and stuck. And just like didn't know where, bless you my love, <laughs> um, just bored and stuck and not knowing where to go, what to do. So you just stayed stuck. And 2023 is so much different. You're coming out of that and you're coming out of this boredom, isolated part of your life. And it's, I just feel really excited for you because there's a lot of excitement, there's travel there is um, rejuvenation of the home, of relationships, and I'm excited for you guys to do that. Let's see, last card. <laughs> Actually, two cards came out. I'm going to take both of them, and I want you guys to see the synchronicity right here. Look at this. Childlike expression and childlike devotion. You are a multi-talented, complex being. Embrace and love who you are. 2023 looks very colorful. I see like specifically the things you eat are going to be very colorful. Your life, your relationships are going to be filled with spontaneous energy, childlike energy, rejuvenated, more playful. And I love that for you. And then we have here push to surface, the last card. And that means you may have become complacent. Yes, you were bored. You might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy. Yeah, a lot of you guys got stuck in your comfort zone. For Aries, it's really hard to get stuck in a comfort zone because Aries are so like go, go, like energy, fire, right? And so when you guys do get stuck in a comfort zone, you really get burnt out. A lot of you guys just really burnt yourself out and you're getting that energy back, but in in a way that's not, again, like gonna burn you out. It's in a way where it's like childlike, playful. So a lot of you guys, I feel like it's it's gonna be a very fun year. I see a lot of you guys going to near the water, beaches, um, I see a lot of you guys uh, spending more time with animals. Um, a lot of you might even, I see like vet, veterinarians here, like passing your school, passing your exams. Uh, so I just did want to point that out. And you're going to pass with flying colors. I do see celebration of passing that for some of you. But become aware of the dynamics of your life. And I do feel like that card goes hand in hand with this one because in the dynamics of your life, you became frozen. 
2022, I feel like, really froze you into certain situations and emotions even. But 2023 is bringing you back into your childlike self. Healing the inner child and letting it come out and play. Not being so serious and then seeing how doing that you really get to thrive with this Knight of Pentacles. So Aries, I think this was a good reading for 2023. If you guys would like to book a reading with me, head over to my email down below. We can go from there or you can book a reading with me on my Etsy shop. Um, and then we can go a little bit more in detail because this is more of a generic reading. Before I go, I do want to let some of you guys know to work with more plants. You guys are such a fiery energy. I want you guys to work more with plants, natural plants, or even fake plants, greenery, roses, um, herbs, just natural plants, vegetables, fruits, something like that, flowers. And that's it. Watch how you thrive, my Aries. And I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.